Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the British Royal Fanatic Podcast. I'm Hayden, your American friend with a passion for British Royal history. If you enjoy royal media in addition to current events and history within the British Royal family, then you have found your home. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon down below so you can stay up to date on all things happening here on the channel. We have another royal replica. We have the Spencer Tiara. We have Princess Diana's engagement ring. We have the Duchess of York's engagement ring. And now we have another crown actually inside this very nondescript awful packaging is a replica of the george the fourth state diadem also known as the just state diadem it is an important piece of royal history of royal jewelry and today we're gonna open it we're gonna uh unbox it and we're gonna judge see if this one's worth your money this particular one that i found you can see from a, a widespread of vendors, some having this range from about like 10 bucks, all this one all the way up to 80 or $90, or some that are in a good middle range. This one I'm curious about. I already know some things that are wrong with this one, but without, let's just get right into it. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, this isn't the most assuming. It's just in a plastic bag. <laughs> it's not really anything fancy. Uh, let's continue. And then, all right. Here we are. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, this is a little bent. Uh, you, you can see the seam back here. You can't really see it much on camera, but there is a little seam and it's a little bent. The version I got does have velvet on the inside to try to make it more comfortable to wear. Uh, this thing, this is a little small. It isn't, this is really crooked. The big thing that is different about this one is the flowers. So this one just has, it looks like what's supposed to be like a Tudor rose on it, but on the actual George IV diadem, the flowers, that's different shamrock, it's different, different greenery and flowers around it. Also, it's, the proportions are different. This one, as you can see, is incredibly small. These ones are incredibly small, but on the actual one, things are a little bit bigger. And also on these French crosses, on the center of them, it's actually supposed to be a yellow diamond. That's sort of what encapsulates where center is. This doesn't have that. The Also, when we're going to get into here, the we have a center of rhinestones, then a line of pearls, and a center of rhinestones. It should actually be flipped. There's also a few rhinestones are missing that have fallen out. Yep, we have them in the bag. Um, it does have some pretty good weight on it. Those are going to have to be re-glued back in place. But when you put it on, you know, it's it's fine. It's comfortable. It doesn't really sit well on my head. This one isn't really designed. It's supposed to be... I don't fully know how this is going to sit. I don't know. I'm looking at the viewfinder down here. This This isn't very well made. This one's not a very good one. This one I only spent about $40 on, and clearly you get what you pay for. So a little bit of history for those who don't know about the George IV State Diadem, also known as the State Diadem. This was first commissioned by King George IV in about 1820. He was gonna he wore it to his coronation, and as far as I know, he was the only man to have actually worn the real one. Uh, he wore it, uh, and then his velvet cap in his procession to Westminster Abbey, and you couldn't really see it, but those who could see it saw it was a little too feminine. They were critiquing it because they thought it was too feminine and too small. And it's been worn actually by queens ever since Queen Adelaide. Queen Adelaide was the first queen to wear it. Then Queen Victoria wore it. And she actually redesigned it a little bit, which is why this one, the proportions are off. There's actually, I think, only four crosses on the real one. And the, it's the spacing's a little wider. And there's a different band here. But Queen Victoria really uh, wore it frequently, and Queen Alexandra wore it. There's a few paintings and photos of her wearing it. Queen Mary wore it. It was actually refitted 
for the queen mother, but there's really no evidence to suggest that she did wear it. There's no photographs of her wearing it, but it was refitted for her to wear it. And of course, this is synonymous with Queen Elizabeth II. She was photographed in it. She was painted in it. She wore it every procession to the state opening of parliament. She wore it in her procession to her coronation. So this is an incredible piece of history. But this particular replica, it's not really the best. It's not really the best. I don't know, guys. This one I think was kind of a bust. I don't know. I was really excited for this one. And seeing this one so many different places being advertised in so many different ways, different price points, different vendors that I was already kind of apprehensive about it. But yeah, this one I think was kind of a bust. I think I think it is, guys. But you get what you pay for. There is a, a few that are a couple hundred dollars that I may bite the bullet and get, you know, donate this to a local theater troupe. Yeah, like you can see here, this one's completely off center. Like you can see right here, this is just completely off center. You can kind of see the quality. From a distance, it looks all right. On my head, it doesn't really fit, at least without pins. And the crosses are supposed to be in the center. And I feel myself kind of wanting to do like lean forward a little bit. I can't fully like relax back, which is fine. But there we have it, everybody. An, a decent kind of shitty replica of the George IV state item. Let me know down below. What do you think? Have you purchased this one? What <laughs> is this not 100% worth it? I don't know. Am I having fun? Yes, I'm having fun. But let me know down below what replicas would you like to see? Have we already seen some of them? Let me know what you think down below. I can't wait to see your comments. And with that, everyone, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.